of what you're doing, what you're eating, you know, what time you're going to bed, how you're sleeping, how you feel when you do certain activities, how you feel when you eat certain foods. If you are aware of what you're doing um, in regards to your health and wellness journey, you'll have a higher chance of succeeding because if you feel good doing something, you'll continue that. That'll be a good habit built. And if you don't feel good doing something and you're being and you're aware of this, you will probably stop that, stop eating that, stop doing that, whatever it may be. Transmission received. Authorization granted. Welcome to the video. What's up dreamers? I hope you're having a fantastic day or had a fantastic day, depending on where you are in the world. And I want to let you know that you boop, are awesome. Welcome to Driving and Vibing. Woo! What's the vibe today? What are we vibing with today? I want to talk about um, just kind of a little bit of routines that you can do. Routines that you can do, um, why they're important, how they can help your overall health. Um, we're going to talk about routines in general, how they can help your overall health and of course, how they can impact your gaming performance in a positive way. So we're going to talk about sleep and nutrition. We're going to talk about this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, because, you know, it's kind of like, kind of like the stuff, right? And I'm going to, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, <clears throat> kind of like background and, you know, pros, like, pros and cons of course but like the professional gamers the professional gaming community the streaming community do they follow health and wellness routines that help them with their mindset and their overall health and of course their gaming performance yes they do and this is uh what is on my is that something on my video? got it sorry this is a real video we're driving and vibing you know um but pros Professional gamers and gaming communities and organizations, they follow health and wellness regimens to be able to improve their gaming performance. And the organizations want this for their uh, players, not only so that their overall health, their well-being, and their mental state is in good shape, I, for lack of a better term, um, but for them to perform in their, their game right like to perform be able to perform well while playing their game or streaming doing their sport if you think about it professional athletes are they need good nutrition they need to eat healthy they need to eat properly they need good nutritional timing i'll talk about that later they need good sleep they need good exercise and <clears throat> said that funny exercise and they they need to do all of this without going overboard not too much I guess you you could get too much sleep but that one's harder to hit you could get too much exercise you could get you could be eating too much at the wrong time um, but these athletes in pro sports will say football basketball they follow all these regiments so it's this kind of the same thing for gaming right you let's say you're competing in video games or you want to be a streamer it's the same it's the same concept you are putting time into what is a different activity but could quote unquote be a sport as a matter of fact playing video games is considered an esport so you want to kind of and this is this is this is actually why I started the channel why I started my interest in bridging the gap between health and wellness because, oh, and, and the gaming communities, because the, if you're watching a stream or you're watching these people compete, these players compete in your favorite video game and you're watching the matches, you're watching all of this information, all of this stuff go on, the information that is not seen or heard is what they do outside of these games, what they do behind the scenes, what they do off camera, and um, a, a lot of times, um, of course, they're doing, you know, other hobbies and activities and stuff. But uh, a lot of times these players and organizations and streamers, they have regiments of their own in regards to health and wellness. Some of the organizations even have personal trainers or nutritionists. Now, that is something that, you know, not everybody is able to 
able to have you know at, at their disposal but a personal trainer is a valuable tool that most people can afford like it's an affordable tool a nutritionist and diet dietitian is also I think an, an affordable tool depending on you know I think some of these can be like insurance would cover some of these too um, because your insurance wants you to be healthy as well they just I mean they do they want you to be healthy the, the healthier you are the I think the the better they benefit as well so everybody benefits from health and wellness I'm I just I think it's I think it's more important than people give it credit for right um, <clears throat> so what are some things I, I talk about this a lot, but I know everybody's not going to watch every single video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. I want to go over some of the the core parts of the foundation of a health and wellness journey that I think are some of the most valuable. If I had to put the top three, the top three aspects of a health and wellness journey that should be focused on the most, or especially at the beginning, would be sleep, exercise. And nutrition not particularly that in that order but I would probably put that in that order for myself if I was starting out and I think putting sleep exercise and nutrition as the foundation will help build other aspects of overall wellness as well if you're not getting good sleep so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like this I chose I would I would put sleep Sleep, exercise, and nutrition. I would put sleep first because if you're not sleeping well, um, there's going to be a lot of adverse effects that go on, and you are going. It's going to drive hunger, right? If you're not getting proper exercise, um, if you're not getting proper exercise, there are a lot of things that exercise benefits with: cognition, burning calories, right, um, as well as a lot of different other aspects of health, overall health and wellness. If you're not getting proper exercise maybe the nu nutrition is going to affect you differently. And then nutrition, of course, is also important um, because if you're not eating a healthy, a healthy rounded diet, you, um, you're gonna kind of feel those, those sugar crashes depending on what you're eating or drinking. You're gonna feel maybe um, groggy sometimes just from how much you may be eating. I'll tell you that I eat I eat meals sometimes and I I portion out way too much and I I eat it because I I do a lot of activity I eat the whole portion but sometimes if especially if it's heavier in the carb area I I kind of feel it I feel a little bit I get kind of groggy and you know tired feeling because I'm getting that that sugar and that carb crash and it happens it's just being aware right you you can uh, you can kind of go about your health and wellness journey and you can kind of go about your health and wellness journey and be successful just by being aware of what you're doing be, being aware and mindful of what you're doing what you're eating you know what time you're going to bed how you're sleeping how you feel when you do certain activities how you feel when you eat certain foods. If you are aware of what you're doing um, in regards to your health and wellness journey, you'll have a higher chance of succeeding because if you feel good doing something, you'll continue that. That'll be a good habit built. And if you don't feel good doing something and you're, being, and you're aware of this, you will probably stop that, stop eating that, stop doing that, whatever it may be. And I think awareness is something that will help with your overall journey and I know this is taught so these these pro gamers that I referenced I know this is or communities or um, you know organizations I know that awareness in your health and wellness is, is talked about I, t I, I talk about it a lot I think being aware is very important as I just stated it has a lot of benefits and again can help you maintain a health and wellness journey so I appreciate everybody who has tuned in if you have any questions on anything you heard by all means let me know in the comments I would love to hear them 
Uh, any feedback is welcome. If you have any topics you would like me to talk about, by all means, let me know. I would love to talk about these topics. Any tips of your own that you use in your health and wellness journey, I would also love to hear those. And, uh, you know, I'm sure other people would as well, reading through the comments. So thanks for tuning in and hope to see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers.